I seen an interview and a girl said, would you prefer a Birkin bag or would you uh, prefer a, a apartment building? She said a Birkin bag. Oh, yes. But. But, but wait, what, what you mean an apartment building? Oh, shit. If, if her man was to give her a choice of a Birkin bag. Ownership? A Birkin yeah. bag or an apartment building, hers in her name, to do what she want with it, this bitch chose a Birkin bag. She you know why? No, because that's what society is teaching us. Yeah, if you look at a lot of this feelings. shit now, like, oh, I got this Birkin. Yeah, what's good if having a Birkin bag if you can't put the $30,000 so in it? Look. That's worth it. Hold on, now, now let's pause. You feel what I'm saying? I just got one little interjection because I know I, when I say this, this going to send you on nothing. No, so, it's not. All right, let's do everything has so far. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you was a you would have been a pressure case. So, so um, uh, 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 like the same way you, you know what I'm saying, how, how, how we have different, I guess, different perspectives on, 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 you know, homeless or, you know, whether they're crazy or whether, you mm -hmm. know, because mental, mental illness, that's, that's something. That's a deeper subject. That's something subject. way deep, yeah. different, different than, than, than drug use, even though they, they do have a, they, 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 it they shares mesh, a line. They mesh at some point. Yeah. But look, but so <clears throat> when you say that's what society is teaching them, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I told him this one day because he was uh, he was asking something. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 he, and he, he put it on his on his, on his social media. I'm like, bro, Google is your friend. You know what I'm saying? You can teach you teach yourself what the, you gravitate to whatever it is that you know what I'm saying that you want to. And mm -hmm. so therefore, if you if you know what I'm saying, if you want to be like, well, you know what I'm saying, one of those little lazy bras, it's like, you know what, I got a vagina, I, you know what I'm saying, I can just go twerk some ass on, on, you know what I'm saying, on social media, that's going to give me some OnlyFans, like, oh, whatever, whatever, that's your, that's, that's your way of supporting yourself, your income, then, you know, that's what, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's what this broad is opted to do, you know what I'm saying, but there are a, a, a million different options out there, you know what I'm saying, for somebody to go support themselves and, you know what I'm saying, and to do it, like, you know, so efficiently. I hear everything you're saying. But like I said, the reason why I say that is because, like we were saying earlier about the county, it's generational. You feel what I'm saying? The mama started having kids. That was that crack. The uh, the mother started having a lot of kids for the first and the fifteenth to get those to get those uh, to get those uh, money. Then after that, the same thing. The same thing. The same thing. You feel what I'm saying? Prime example. I come from a hard working mother. And the basically what it is is she tells me, don't depend on my nigga. I've you're never depend You're supposed to, that's why I teach my daughter. Yeah, I, I never by herself. Never to depend on a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? In my lifetime, have I depended on a nigga? Yes. And it broke me down to the point where it's like, now fuck you, nigga. Like I depended on this person from the clothes that I wore to the pants I put in between my coochie. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. That's how much I depended on him. Mm. But when shit got bad, you feel what I'm saying? I'm looking like, okay, I don't have it now. Let me go out here and make it happen. And ever since then, it's like, no. Even though I was taught not to depend on a nigga, sometimes you go on slippery slopes. You go through this. You go through that. It's all about the way you're raised. And a lot of people be like, oh, I was raised like this. But you can break those generational curses. You feel what I'm saying? Prime example, I'm doing one right now. Both of my girl, well, my 18 year olds about to graduate. My other ones in college, no babies. Mm -hmm. I started having babies when I was 17, 16 years old. You feel what I'm saying? So I broke that curse. Did you break that curse, or did they break that curse? Well, the they broke it, but hold up, hold up. Hold up. My niece, they five. broke it, kids. but it's kind of what I was instilling in their head or what they see right now. I'm a, like, yeah, I got a spouse, but. I'm a, like their dad's is not well. Let me rephrase that. Their dad's is is in their life, but they're weekend dads. I do majority of this, mm -hmm. and and I don't mean it in a bad way because yeah, I got some I mean, good that. kids' fathers. Both my kids' fathers yeah, are hell of a good. Kids. But the thing, dad. but the thing about it is, it's kind of like you know what I'm saying. I do majority of everything. Doctor's appointments, see, taking them to interviews, taking them this, taking them that, and everything else. They see the hard work that I do on my own. So instead of them doing it like me with kids, I tell my kids, enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Have fun. 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 Graduate, get a good degree, travel, do all that. Before you start thinking about having kids and everything else, because once you have kids, 
It's a whole totally different generation out. Yeah, it's a different ball game out there and everything else. And that's what I'm saying. You go back to generational. You got some families, okay, the mama's on Section A, stays on the county, the mama died, but now the daughter inherit the Section A. She's having kids, she's having babies, they got county, they're waiting for the next, okay, the you oldest, wanna, you okay. Know one thing about that? About the section eight, the trapper section eight, how people. But that came from they. That, that, they that, got that, that straight from their mama though. But look, this is the thing. Like people, you know what I'm saying? They look at it for the come up it is. Oh, I'm only paying a hundred dollars rent or whatever. Okay. Happened. Guess what? You would never own that shit. And that's what I, that you would never own it. But, but no, but we got, hold on, hold, hold They do on. have programs. But guess what? They got that from their mama. They got that. Not necessarily it, males. No, listen, mean, listen, no, listen. listen. This is what I mean. This is the reason why. Though. Listen. If, this is the reason why it came from. It's a book. The book name is Tyrese the Senior. This nigga wrote a book about his daddy and his mama, how to move out his own way. <clears throat> that nigga divorced his wife. He divorced his wife because he feel every time he argued with his wife, his wife didn't argue with him. And he feel because his mama and daddy used to argue and fight that his wife, baby mama, didn't love him. And so, with that being said, he divorced his wife because he said, I didn't want my daughter to grow up thinking, nigga, a nigga hit her or arguing with her didn't love her. And, and you're right, okay, look, you're right about that. And I'm going to put it to you just like this. I'm going to show you. I'm a prime example of it. My daddy and my mama used to fight until my mama got fed up and she left his ass. You feel what I'm saying? But when I start fucking with Drew, Guess what? That's all we did was fight up and down the motherfucking streets. Woo, 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 That's woo, not love. Woo, 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 woo. But I seen it for so many years. Mm. I thought it was love. That's and what I'm so saying. I had to. No, I hear what you're saying. You but that, that's what I'm saying. I. But I had my mother and my father. You feel what I'm saying? It just didn't come from my mother. It no. came from my father too. If you read the book, it came from him. That nigga had a heart to heart with his mother and said, "Mama, this is the first time he came back from making the movie, and he talking." And his mama is saying, uh, he asking her how it was growing up with they granny, with her mama. Oh, oh, I was drunk. She was a drunk. She felt asleep. She had different dudes in and out of the house. Everything. He said it. He said, damn, I didn't know I was being raised by my granny. His mama say, nigga, I'm not your motherfucking granny. Nigga, I'm your mama. He said, everything you explained to me and said, your mama did, you did to us. Yeah, and no, and I get and I get what you're saying, but at some point, it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? We, ha we have to, it, I had to wake up, I had to wake up in my own eyes to realize Drew could put his hands on me. He don't love me. But yeah, what I'm made me stop me. fucking not with Drew, that. for real, for real, on, on everything I love, when he sent me to our son with a, a funeral with a black eye, my daddy wanted to kill him. And I had to stop that. Yeah. And do yes. Yeah. I went to yes. I went to my son's funeral. Okay. Yeah, let me give y'all a little background. Mandrew. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Mandrew. <laughs> okay. Mandrew, we used to mess around. I had a baby when I was 17 years old. You feel what I'm saying? We did domestic violence, we did all that. Nigga, we used to be on uh, on Imperial in the trailer parks, nigga body slapped me, I had to go to the hospital. We did it all. I uppercut him, stabbed him, cut his hair. I did it all. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. Nigga, you put your hands on me, I put your but I thought that was okay because I see my mother and father fight for so many years. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Oh. For so many years until I have to wake up and realize this nigga don't love me. Especially when I put our son in the ground. I'm walking around with these big ass shades on with a black eye and my daddy want to kill you and put you on the ground with my baby. So I had to back away from that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I had to move on. Then my next relationship, my girl's father, same thing, repeated itself over. Beat my ass, I beat his ass, we did it all. I cut him, I cut his hair, did all kind of stuff and everything else. But yeah, I that was cutting hair. Oh yeah. Damn. I I did I did it I did it all. Like I, I for real, for real. Like I did a lot of stuff. I didn't say it but I had to realize it like I have to stop at some point. <clears throat> what made me stop is when I birthed my daughter, my oldest daughter, the one that's in college. I have to say like, uh-uh. Like this is not what it's supposed to do. But first, he walked away from me because he was like, Tiffany, we fight too much. We not, we not like, you know, and then it clicked in me. Then after that, I see my mom, she was by herself for a little while and everything else. Now she's married and everything else. But yes, I had a problem with my hands at once upon a time. You feel what I'm saying? But 
it, it's a cycle. It doesn't just happen overnight. It just don't happen like that. It takes time to get over a lot of this stuff. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Even when Drew got out and before he went back in, I tried to help him. I tried to rekindle. Okay, we lost something. Our son is in the ground. Let's try to stay cool. When he was out those three years, we used to go to the grave site every year for his birthday, put balloons on his grave, laugh, talk, joke, all that stuff. But then I start seeing the patterns again, the jealousy, the possessiveness and everything else. And I had to cut all ties. Like when I say all ties, I even hit him up the other, like not too long ago. I was just like, hey, how you doing, friend? And everything else. Like, you know, you cool, you need anything because, you know, he back in the pen. You gonna always be my bitch. And what? I had to stop. The letter stopped. The everything stopped. Because when you start seeing the possessiveness again, it's kind of like, no, not back to he was saying. Once I have girls, and my girls, they tell me, my girls and my son, you don't go out as much as you used to no more. Why? Y'all want to see y'all mama coming in drunk every motherfucking weekend, sleeping all the way into Sunday, get up, get y'all together and go on about y'all business? Y'all basically going to be raising yourself. Why would I do that? Like, you feel right. what I'm saying? So, so you're talking about breaking the generation curse, right? Yeah. Uh, you what have you, to. What you just said, you it, broke. It, what you just said, it's you not broke. No it's really not no generation curse. What, what you just said, you curse. broke with, with Drew. Do you think your kids are going to go through that after seeing you go through it with him? Or you think they're going to say, I don't want to do that because I seen my mom and daddy do Well, it. my girls, they seen a couple of little incidents <clears throat> between me and their father. <clears throat> and they see me have to beat up one of its... He was somebody was dating. It wasn't on no jealousy stuff. Mm. It was more on some disrespect for my daughters. Like, this is his weekend. Mm. Don't come over here with that nonsense and everything else. So I had to kind of show my true colors. Mm -hmm. But after that, I started noticing emotional things happening with my daughter. Mm. Every time my voice get loud or every time they see me and my mm -hmm. dad, daddy around and they hear our voices rouse, I start seeing a change in them. And that's when I said, I got to stop. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Me and my spouse to this day. When we get into it, I make sure my kids is not there. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I don't want them to hear that. Plus, I have a son now. Mm -hmm. My son is big. And I already know my, how my son is. You feel what I'm saying? He'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe for me. And I don't never want to have to put my son in that situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? And everything else. So when I argue now with my spouse, which I don't really like to argue no more due to all the other stuff. It's a... Mm -hmm. You say what you got to say. I say what I got to say. Let's go. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But sometimes stuff get heated and words is being changed and I go in on silent mode. I just shut all the way down. I don't say nothing. I don't talk. I don't do anything. I just ignore it. But it started affecting my kids. You feel what I'm saying? So I had to kind of start switching stuff up. So back to what you were saying about the generational curse, I don't think they're going to allow that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I don't think they're going to allow a man to put their hands or even talk to them loud right. because they seen you go through it. Me go through it. Right. And that's what I that's what that and that just goes back to what I said about when like when we first started this whole the the, the, the women's liberation thing. Like you know what I'm saying? It's about the choices that somebody decide to say, "You know what? This is what I want for myself or I settle for this." <clears throat> like, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 at the end of the day uh, uh, Jay Prince said it. Uh, he said you wake up every day with two things. That's a choice and a chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it, it's, it's what you're going to do with it. Like, you know, you because somebody can look at whatever, you know, happened before them, their history, their they family tradition or whatever the hell it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? And be like, yep, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to fall into. But, you know, at, at some point it got to be, how can I add to this? Or how can I, you know... Without taking yeah. everything from like my, you know what I'm saying, my pops. I love my pops to death. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, he 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 rested now, but like my pops wasn't like it wasn't all cookie cutter or nothing like that. But you know what I'm saying? I you know, I I know where his heart was. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know what, you know what I'm saying, what he would have did if he, you know what I'm saying, if he could have. You know what I mean? And like just 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 that was a you know what I'm saying, was a motivation for me. Like, all right, what can I do to add to it? You know what I'm saying? How 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 how, 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 how my kids on the on the you know what I'm saying? Like I got these steps or whatever have you you know from my own experiences and you know just in terms of anything that I was ever taught. But then, but then when it comes to you know what I'm saying to 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 me like all right, what how do I want to set my kids up? I gotta put them you know what I'm saying on the you know set them up with a better path and you know they doing good. I tell all my kids already right now my my youngest is 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 14. You know what I'm saying? And 
you know, when I talked to him, I'm like, look, by 15, I was in, you know what I'm saying, I was in juvenile hall. So, you know, y'all already doing better than me. My two oldest, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 one one got her, one running her own business. The other one, you know what I'm saying, is a college graduate. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, they 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 already like doing better than me. It's just a, a, a matter of them now taking it and, and, and making that choice for them. Like, look, I want better, and you know what I'm saying. This is the you know what I'm saying. The steps, the foundation I'm gonna build so that when they do decide to have kids, boom, they kids is just you know that many more steps higher than you know what I'm saying than what they were and even what I was. So it's just about you know what I'm saying the choices that the people actually want to make, like you know, to do whatever it is they're gonna do with their life, find a purpose. You know, that's 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 one of the things a lot of people mention, the purpose and the passion. Like, you know, you ain't you you ain't you don't know why you doing it. That is it's like, man. Okay. Some of the shit the shit go by when you younger and, and you doing certain shit, you should know you're gonna have kids and it's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna be fall. and it, it ain't gonna fall. And it's gonna be repercussions. Not just that, uh, but well, we, that, uh, Basically, what I mean, like, me dealing with my son, I got my oldest son is, what, about to be 12. That nigga can't even tell you where I'm from. <laughs>